Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so today, yeah, we got another nostalgic legacy tech. But it's new to me. I've never owned one before. And so I thought this would be cool to kind of play around with. And, you know, I mean, hey, who doesn't like tech, right? <laughs> um, so big shout out to my sister for sending these out to me. She's had them for a while and they don't even use them anymore. And so she knows I'll take them and... You know, just kind of figure out what I can do with them. Uh, more importantly, just to kind of uh, test them out, give you guys what my thoughts are on them. Um, so, yeah, I got an iPad Air 2 and I got an iPad Mini 3, which right here is a Mini 3. I'll do a separate video on that later, so I'll just put that one off to the side. But I want to focus on the iPad Air 2 because this is the one that I'm going to be using mostly. And, you know, it's still in decent condition for how old it is. This device is uh, 10 years old, a uh, 10 year old tablet from Apple and uh, everything's still functional on it, which you guys will see here. But just real quick for the spec heads out there. So you guys pretty much have an idea what the specs are, if you don't remember. Uh, for the first off, this device was released actually in October 2014. Uh, it is discontinued, so you're not going to find any brand new models out there. Um, and it originally launched on iOS 8.1. But it was upgradable all the way to um, iPad OS 15.8.1, so which is uh, I believe what I have on here already. Um, it is a 9.7 inch display with a 71.6% screen to body ratio, uh, 1536 by 2048 pixels with a 4 by 3 um, aspect ratio and 264 pixels per inch density. So for okay, uh, chipset is the Apple A8X, no Bionic in its name, um, with a 1.5 gigahertz uh, Typhoon triple core uh, processor. The GPU is a PowerVR GX A6850, um, and that's an octa-core, so yeah. Um, this is an LTE model one, so you can put a SIM card inside of it, and it does, um, come in various different uh, storage capacities from 16 gigabyte internal storage, I think all the way up to like 128. I have the 64 gig model, which is right here. Uh, but that's just a little bit of the specs, um, you know, 7,000 plus milliamp hour battery. And yeah, so what I can tell you guys just from kind of playing around with it for the last couple of days and just, you know, really just kind of getting a feel for it, just to kind of to see um, how it's going to respond, react and all that good stuff. Uh, it's doing fairly well, right? I feel like, you know, the cameras are pretty decent, um, you know, with the main camera being an 8 megapixel shooter. So you're not really going to be using this for like, you know, content creating or anything like that. However, if you use iOS um, and use, a, you know, an iPhone to record your videos, you can airdrop and use this to kind of edit videos, which I think is going to be pretty cool. I'm actually going to test that out over the next, you know, couple of weeks. Um, but... Yeah, you know, with uh, the selfie cam being only a 1.2 megapixel camera with a f2.2 aperture. And then you have, like I said, the 8 megapixel main shooter that is a f2.4 aperture. So not very good with low light, but, you know, with enough substantial good light, you should be able to get a decent photo out of it. Just, you know, for like social media and stuff like that. But you're not winning any awards for, you know, uh, photography or anything like that. Um, for what it is, you know, having only two, two gigabytes of RAM, uh, I would say that it's pretty decent. It's not super fluid. You will kind of like, like, you know, if you have like a newer or at least, you know, like a four year old iPhone and you compare that to this, as far as fluidity of the screen, you definitely see a lot of jitter and jank with this. Um, as you know, this, this is a old device it's 10 years old, but the way that I look at it for it to function this good still being 10 years old, you know, speaks a lot. Um, I feel like that, you know, this would make great for, you know, myself to use just for entertainment, like entertainment purposes, like watching YouTube or, you know, maybe, you know, TV TV or something like that, right? Playing a little bit of games on there. Like I got Pokemon Go on here. Um, and really just kind of like going through social media when I want to put my phones to charge, I can just grab this and just get online and, you know, see what's the haps, what's going on. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, nice size display, honestly, 9.7 inch display. So everything's going to be like, you know, very, you know, easy for me to read things, you know, as I'm getting up there in my age. Um, 
And it is LTE compatible. So, it, you know, it does have a slot for a SIM card, which I have one from Helium coming and I will be using that in this. So I could use FaceTime and iMessage on this device if I needed to. But yeah, overall, I would say, you know, from an Android user that used Android for years, trying out, you know, an, an iPad, it's really decent. Um, I have to give it that. It's really good. And it's that about the OS wars, this is just me being a nerd fully geeking out on some nostalgic tech.